if you've done a drawing and a lot of work has gone into it but you want to make a change you can distort it so i'm just going to select the layer go Control t and it selects a bounding box around it now i'm working in the latest version version 2020 what a great year 2020 has been and uh, i'm going to show you some of the warp options up here so let's go edit transform warp and it's made these little beziers and now as i begin to play with them I can adjust the drawing. You'll notice if you've used an earlier version, your version will look slightly different, but it's basically the same. The new version has some really nice options. So I can make it a three by three grid or a four by four or a five by five. And depending on how many of these you get, you get more control. This is new. Um, so you can do all kinds of things that will really enable you to twist the character. Now, before you go too far with this, I would make a backup of the original layer. So let's just undo that and make a backup. And I usually like to call these BU for backup. And then back to my alien, control T, and then we're back into, which means edit, transform warp is the other one. So now let's pick the big grid, the five by five. And you can see rather than having to redraw it, you can do this. If I hold down the alt option key, I can actually add more. So if I want to subdivide this into ever more subtle deformations, I can do that. If you want to know more about the 2020 Distort tool, you can find other videos elsewhere. I'm not going to go into it, but just know that they exist. It's very, very powerful. It's really like a step up from 2019.